What's going on guys and today we have a big decision to make first I want to welcome you guys and thank you for stopping by on the channel But you might be thinking what is this big decision and today the big decision is these little guys right there a lot of people Either seem to hate them or love them. I, it's funny. I watch it or I you know I look on Instagram a lot and I always see it seems to be two big sides to it Do you keep them on or do you take them off? So today I figure let's go over the pros and cons and see should we take these off the charger? First, I want to go over a couple of the pros of having it on the car. One, protect against scratches, obviously. I mean, they're, they're guards. Of course they will. Two, they look good. I think they look pretty good. I mean, it's, it's a 50-50 type thing. Like, I feel like, especially being on the black car here, it looks pretty good. Like, it adds a little bit of contrast. Sorry for my shadow, but it, it looks pretty nice. Like it, it adds a little something to the car, you know? Maybe on like a different color, maybe it might not look as good, but it looks, you know, it could be a positive. So that's for the pros. I mean, only two, but you know, those are just my two. Maybe there's more out there for you guys. And now for the cons. Um, again, looks. It, some people might think it looks bad. I mean, again, it's a 50-50 thing. Either like it or you hate it. And along with that, Two is I hear a lot of people say that, you know, dust and dirt and debris can get up in behind here and these guards can actually possibly scratch your paint. So that could be a con right there. So if you guys can think of any more pros and cons other than the two I've listed for each, I mean, li list them in the uh, comments below there. But I mean, that's pretty much what I can come up with as for, you know, the pros and cons for these. So what should we do, you guys? I'm thinking. You know, I, I do like the look of it. I really do. I think it's definitely a nice little touch to the car. Then again, it does say right on here. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully, it comes through. To be removed by dealer. Hmm. Well, if you look at my little uh, name tag here, I do work at a dealership, so I don't know. Maybe I should remove them. I mean, technically, I should have probably, huh? That could be bad, couldn't it? <laughs> so, I mean, they are supposed to be taken off. It's not like a, you know, do you leave it on or off? It's actually supposed to be removed. So after a little bit of thinking, I've been taking everything into thought here, and I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna remove them. I think it, well, it adds some cool looks to it right now, but I also do wanna kinda see how it looks just without it, just all black at that cool little stealth look going on. So, I think we're gonna take them off, you guys. And there we go, just two little pop things right there and it is off and as I can already tell you thinking those cons outweighs the pros look at that look at all that dust dirt and look at that I think that's that's scratched into the paint right there look at that my car only has 300 miles on it 300 miles of driving with these things on have already ruined the paint wow I wasn't actually I was actually surprised I thought just a couple hundred miles wouldn't be so bad Dang, so all you guys out there who haven't taken these off, I highly recommend taking these off the second you get home or the second, don't even leave the dealership without having these things taken off, wow. I almost might have to just put them back on, look at that. That is a literal solid line right there that is just scratched throughout the whole thing. Wow. I am, I hope you guys can see, I'm trying to get some different lights there. But that's not just gonna buff out right there. That is deep scratching in there. And that's just one of them. Wow, I am surprised. I didn't even think they'd be that bad. And that's only 300 miles, 300 miles. I've only had this car for about a week. And that's what these things did. I'm kind of mad at myself for not taking these things off sooner because Wow, like, I'm seriously like a little bit mad I didn't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of sad, dang. That did some pretty good scratching right there. As you can see, like, I run my fingernail over it. It's in there, definitely on the paint. Over here, I don't want to sit there and rub my hand over all of it, but you can see there's a little line right there. I hope you can see it. Try to get in the light there. Try to get these ones in the light too. Hope you guys can see it in there, but a little bit of scuffs right there in that spot and then a line going pretty much from right here to about right there. It looks like after that point it kind of stops. So like a line right there and some scuffs right here. 
all because of this right here, you guys. Wow. Well, I'm going to be putting these guys in the trunk. They are not going back on the car. They might have to now at this point. There kind of might be like a permanent little deal there because now I got scratches on the car. So let's get the other one off. And uh, yeah, we'll see the damage on that side too. I just got this one off too. And this one, the line here isn't so bad. As you can see, just a little bit right up in there. But look at this. Look at that, you guys. No! <laughs> that is that is in there that one right there i don't think will buff out that that one is on there you guys literally 300 miles in one week of ownership and that's what those do imagine all those guys who leave them on for months weeks even years i can only imagine those cars underneath there are just completely destroyed unless they took them off the second they got them put some like rubber felt all up in there some type of, you know, adhesive with like a felt lining or something. Their car is definitely scratched up like bad. Because this is just a couple days. That really does actually suck, kind of. But there you guys go. There's me doing a little experiment for you guys. Ruined my car, I guess, a little bit. Uh, I actually didn't think there would be that much scratches or anything. I thought it would be pretty fine, but... That is a big con, leaving those on there. Unless you take them off and put some type of felt lining or something to put a, you know, a barrier between your paint and this, the yellow guard. Don't leave them on there. I mean, do not. So here we go. I'm going to be putting these guys in the trunk. They're going to be staying right in there. I'm not going to clean these off right now. I don't want to wipe them down because I don't want to scratch them or anything. I don't have any good products here with me, so gonna have to clean those off but there it is all taken off it actually looks kind of cool i actually kind of like it like this makes it look a little more menacing a little more stealth like this like i don't know it just comes Ooh, i like it the more i'm looking at it here it actually looks really good without them on there i like it it's actually looking pretty good with them uh not on there i like it so here you guys go a little if anyone out there you know just bought a new charger and uh they're thinking about leaving those on there i i from my personal opinion, I would definitely recommend removing them. And uh, I think they actually do look pretty good. I think before it gave this kind of more of like this like track feel type looking car. Now it just like looks like a mean looking like this like stealthy badassery kind of car. I don't know. Looks definitely different. It does change it up a lot actually. To the whole Mopar community, I think, uh, I think the winning side is either one you leave them on there and you put some like felt in there or two you take them off immediately um definitely to be removed by dealership there i guess sucks i hurt my car there a little bit but it'll be okay i guess it's just a car uh that's actually good now i don't now i don't feel like i have to baby it as much now it's all oh, it's already got scratches on it who cares right no i'm just kidding but uh yep there you guys go that's what it, she looks like, ooh, I love that. I love the Dodge up there in the headlight. It looks so nice. Can't wait to get the Taser, uh, the new Taser, because I think I have to wait till they uh, give a new update, because my Taser won't work on this car unless I buy their little uh, like module thing, because this car has some extra security modules. So I can't wait to do that to get the headlights where they stay on when the turn signals are on. So we'll sidetrack there, but can't wait to get that on there but so there you guys go i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed my misery as my car has now has scratches on it but she looks really good it looks really nice i love the charger it's so comfortable it's a great ride i really do like it i got a lot of comments you guys saying to lower the tire pressure here i actually want to check it right now what does it say in here because i lowered it about five pounds but i want to see what does it say to do in here Look at that right there. You guys were right. 32 PSI. The car came with it like at 59. So I think I'm going to go run around the car here real quick. Drop it probably another five pounds or so. Because I did drop it down to like 40, down from 50 down to 46 is what it was. Because I'm just sitting there with my thumb doing it. So I didn't want to go too much. But yeah, it does say 32. It's weird. The tires actually say on here, if you look at them, it says right here on the tires, it says, 51 psi that's the max pressure though so i looked at that when i first got the car i'm like oh okay the 50 is normal then but i never looked at the door so i will be lowering that down i'll get that down i'll probably lower that to like 35 i think that'll be a good writing temperature 
There we go. That was nothing. Whew, scared me there. But there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed. Follow the channel. I got much more content coming out for this car. I got a lot of little things to wrap on the car. I got new badges for the car, some little cosmetic stuff. And uh, after that, I, I definitely want to get new rims and tires for this. I'm, I like the look on it, but I really do think that uh, black wheels and tires will look good on the ch on the Charger here. I, also, you guys were saying I said Challenger, and I honestly, I think I'm a little dyslexic because I just flip a lot of stuff around normally, but it could be I miss the car a little, I guess. Definitely want to get new wheels and tires and uh, got some little mods coming in. So stick around, you guys. Next video on the Charger will be the how much I paid. I'm going to go everything from insurance to monthly payment to the selling price, the out the door price, everything. I'm going to go over all of it in the next video on the car. Before that video comes out, I do have another video on the truck. So any guys out there watching for the Cummins, we may have tuned it and it is a beast. So pretty excited about that. I'll make a video on it. And... There you guys go, hope you enjoyed and uh, see you guys in the next video. So I let out a little bit of air for you guys. That one there I don't think is updated, but you know, I'm kind of out here so I don't really want to do it. I'll go, definitely go into the shop and uh, try to get them down to probably like 35 or something, but let's do a little acceleration. You know, I got a little over 300 miles on it, so let's do a little acceleration. Just, you know, all the windows up. Let you guys kind of hear how she sounds from the inside. I'm gonna put up the, the uh, gauges up here for you guys so you can see it. Here we go, let's do a little acceleration. I'm not gonna floor it, it still has, you know, low mileage, but here we go. Woo! There we go, that was probably maybe like half throttle through that whole thing, but seven seconds not bad hope you guys enjoyed see you guys later